tank above the water heater decided to randomly get a hole in it. I'm out running errands again today. I just stopped by Sam's, paid the Sam's bill. Now I'm getting gas. And then I'm gonna, I know this is a, a lot repetitive. I'm going to my parents' house for like the millionth time getting another pool sample, taking it to the pool store again to make sure everything... That was a hole in the ground. Why is there a ginormous hole in the, hole in the ground? Anyways, uh, getting the sample to make sure the pool is okay. And then actually I'm going to stop at Neater's and get the girlfriend and I a sandwich and drop one off for her at work. Look at that pool being all the right color and stuff. It's almost done. We're almost done. The cloudiness is almost gone. Except it's a little green around here. I'm gonna scrub that really quick. Get a water sample and get out of here. Oh gosh, look at all right, look at look at these boxes. See how they're all wet? Wet, wet, wet. Hi, hi. Tank above the water heater decided to randomly get a hole in it. So we had our metal guy come in and help me MacGyver this have it drift down this and go into this uh -oh. that's not that close to go until we can get our plumber out here to get us a new tank but until then i'm going to home depot buy some like super tape i don't know i don't know it's stressing me out all right these are hot water heaters so why wouldn't the tanks just be right up here i mean logically wouldn't that make sense wouldn't that make sense home depot home depot didn't have the tank which ended up not mattering because I talked to the guy there and then I went to a plumbing supply store and they told me I could just plug where the tank is at and that it'll be fine like that until my dad gets back and then he's going to switch it off for a new tank. But for me to do this, I have to turn the water off, the main water to the restaurant and I can't do that while we're open so I bought two caps because I didn't know which, was, which size to get. I just bought both of them and tonight I'm going to go back to the restaurant after we close, turn off the water and take care of it then. Alright, so we're back here, Zoe and I, it's time to fix this, which means I have to turn off the water. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, step number one, complete. Now the pressure release valve is in the ceiling up there, so I gotta get up in the ceiling with the ladder, and this is why I didn't shower yet, because I'm gonna get so sweaty and dirty doing this, it's gonna be ridiculous. Alright, so I got up in the ceiling, and it is full of webs, and now that I see the top, it's not the tank that I thought it was, so it's a good thing I didn't actually buy a tank, because I would've bought the wrong one. And it looks like the pressure release is right, right here. So I'm assuming if I... Uh, that didn't work. So that means I just need to have the water running since I shut the water to the building off. One of these sinks should get rid of all that water up there. You guys almost missed it. I got this part failing. There, it's loose. That's actually really loose. I gotta put you guys down. No! Okay. Alright, my phone's getting And the camera. The camera's getting wet too. Okay, this isn't good. I gotta put you guys away. I keep forgetting to film because I just want to get out of here. See, I got this little knobby. I twist it in. I twist it in. I put the little plastic watery proofy tape stuff on it. And now I'm just gonna finish putting it on and then we should be good. Turn this back on. I forgot if I switched your pull. There we go. Okay, water on, and then we go back inside, there will be no leaking. Hey, look at that, it's not leaking. And we're done. So that was a lot easier than I thought it was okay. You guys missed it when I took this off, a bunch of rusty water spewed everywhere and got all over me. Uh, actually, yeah, we should save this. There, saved. We're gonna get out of here now. All right, I'm clean. 
I'm about to get in bed and watch, uh, they put the new season of Walking Dead on Netflix. I've been watching it. It's so good. I know I'm a full season behind the people that are watching it on, like, AMC, which, whatever, I don't care. But Negan, I don't know. He's so evil and messed up, but I really like his character. He's really, really good at it. For those of you that are watching Walking Dead know what I'm talking about. He's, he's a really good actor. Probably one of my favorite seasons so far on The Walking Dead. I really, really like it. So I'm going to watch a little bit and go to bed. Got to wake up early, take the child to school. And tomorrow we have a full day. Come back and find out. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Good night. And you guys have a spot on you.